Hello everybody. Right then, uh, today I'm going to move on to doing the passages to meet, to meet the ports that I did the other day. If you didn't see me do them ports, I think you'd take a look back at part 6 of the cylinders and uh, you'll catch up then with, with, with how I did that and how I got them positioned and everything. And now I've got to, today I've got to drill the passages that's going to intersect them inlet ports on the outside there and I've got to come in this way and this way at a compound angle. In the last paragraph of the book I'm working to it tells you not to get hung up about these passageways because the, 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 it could look a bit complicated on drawing but they, they've allowed plenty of tolerance uh, to be able to get these passages without any specialised equipment. Now to do this, and I know, I know all this, you need you need proper equipment in your workshop and not everybody's got that equipment if they're just setting out or if they're just a casual hobbyist that want to do jobs and they don't want all the equipment to have to buy because you, really you need a, an angle plate, a, an adjustable angle plate for your milling machine you need a sign bar, you need slip gauges and you need to be able to use trigonometry to work all the angles out not everybody's got that equipment so I'm, I'm devising a simpler method to be able to do it for anybody be, to be able to have a go at in their own machine shop right so how I'm doing it then I've borrowed this full size drawing and I know this drawing could be distorted and not very accurately yet yeah, I know all that but we've got plenty of tolerance remember so I've got my protractor and it's a compound angle so the first angle I'll deal deal with is this this one looking at the fate down the bore because the ports are offset from the center of the bore you've got to drill them at an angle and that angle is twelve and a half degrees if you want to work it out with some trigonometry by all means do so I think that's going to be near enough for what we're doing then we've got to work the other angle out which is that angle going up across is 12 and a half up the angle to go up is 20 degrees that on my angle gauge and that angle is 20 degrees so how I'm going to go about it without any specialised equipment then is I've made this wooden block up and I've squared it up, a piece of hardwood I've got all the faces square and parallel and I've cut it off at 20 degrees so that's going to give me my first angle right then you've got to drill two holes in to suit your T-slots on your machine block is approximately three inch square with a 20 degree angle on and it's approximately two and a half inch tall at its highest point than the 20 degree angle and how I'm going to clamp the block the cylinder block to this wooden block is with this screw it's a coarse threaded screw and I've drilled the hole to suit at 90, at 90 degrees to that angle so it's going to come through like that and that's going to clamp the uh, the block on right so on this block then you've got to put your 12 and a half degree angle from the bottom corner from the bottom side the lower side you've got to put a 12 and a half degree angle draw it on both both ways so set your protractor the other way then and then do it that way and draw a line across to give you your other angle then the block's going to go onto the wooden block like so so you're going to set that block on that 12 and a half degree angle like that with your clamping bolt and the reason I've put the angle the other way is because when you turn the block over it's the opposite way. When you've done your holes for your T-slot you've got to counterbore them so that the head of your nuts don't interfere with 
when you see the cylinder on it. Then you can put your block, your cylinder block onto the wooden block and we'll clamp that on. Now this clamp here is only for keeping this block flat down to the wooden block and I'm going to put a series of stops on just to make sure nothing can move once it's set. I'll just set this roughly for now and then we'll go over to the milling machine and do it properly. That's your 12 and a half degree angle and then you've got your 20 degree, sorry, 20 degree angle that way. So that's giving you your compound angle. Then we're going to set the block up on, milling, on the milling table or on your vertical slide square to the table and parallel to the table. Then put some stops on. Then what you've got to do is using a square transfer your lines up where your slots where the end of the, your slots are transfer them lines up with the square on both sides you can then draw the lines up at 12 and a half degrees from the point that they come onto this face and that's giving you the area of the slot that you've got to work with. Now obviously there's a hole here which is interfering with you where the cover fits so you've got to draw another line to miss that hole like so. So that's then giving you a distance of from there to there where, where the slots where the drill's going to drill 11 sixteenths and you're going to put three three sixteenths holes in which is nine sixteenths so it's leaving you one eighth of an inch tolerance to play with there so going the other way then you then want to line from the bottom of your bore you also want your line across from your slot the width of your slot on both of them taking across to this face then you can transfer them lines up this face like so and then a distance of three eighth of an inch from this face down which is there that's giving you the position of where your slot is and the depth that area there then when you've got your block on your milling table or whatever you can then draw a perpendicular line from the bottom of this bore where it where it meets on this face a perpendicular perpendicular line you can draw then down and that's where your drill is going to hit so if you draw another line the width of your drill if you can see them lines there I don't know if you can see them that's where my that's where I'm predicting my drill is going to hit that slot so obviously you've got a bit of tolerance this way it don't matter if it came this way a fraction you'd still hit it or it wouldn't matter if it were a bit that way it would just be a little bit further up that slot but you don't want to go too far so you've got some tolerance that way and some tolerance that way and then what you need to do when we go on to the milling machine we've got to just mill a flat on here just to give the uh, the drill a, an horizontal plane so it can start without wandering we'll get to that when we get to the milling machine so I think that's covered everything uh, I'll move over to the milling machine now and then uh, we'll have a look at it set up on milling now and uh, I'm just setting my stops up in my block and uh, I've got my T-slot fitted into the wooden block and I've clamped that up square and parallel to the table and the machine's axis and I've put two stops on I've put one this side and I've put one on this side so that block cannot move now and I've put some stops on where I know that me, uh, once my cylinder block goes on it'll come up to them stops and it'll be set at that 12 and a half degree angle if I put my cylinder block on now up to these stops you're not going to be able to see down here but 
the twelve and a half degree line that I drew onto the wooden block. I've got my block now, my cylinder block set to that line, and I'm going to put this bolt down the middle now. To right now, that's solid now. That can't go anywhere. I've got to put my milling cutter in, and I've got to mill a little flat onto the bore in between those lines that we drew on over on the marking off table so it doesn't interfere with that hole where the cover fits a 5 16 cutter in to do this so I'm all ready for machining now is where my slot's gone down to 3 8 deep and these are my prediction lines where the holes are going to come to. I think I'll do it in another part because it might be the video is going to go on too long. I'll catch you on the next part doing the machining of these passages. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.